In this tutorial video, I will show you how to write Octiv and MATLAB scripts and functions. When you refer to Octiv and MATLAB programming, it typically means to write scripts and functions. At the end of this video, you will learn how to get started with writing scripts and functions and running them. During this video, we will go over a few examples for scripts and functions, emphasizing the difference between them. The example that I'm going to go over is to calculate the area of rectangles and the surface area of sphere and the volume, which I think you're familiar to. Without further ado, let's dive in. The outline of the topic is shown here with the timestamps, and if you want to directly jump into the topic that you want to watch, feel free to do so. What are scripts and functions? Scripts and functions are the collection of Octave or MATLAB commands as a text files with the file extension M. M stands for MATLAB. Since this is a text file, you can write scripts and functions using basic text editor. Octave, MATLAB, scripts, and functions are also known as M file because we use file extension M. Scripts and functions can be run by calling from command window. I'm going to show you how to do it in a minute or so. Open time, we consider the scripts and function writing as Octave or MATLAB programming. Someone mentioned Octave MATLAB programming. They refer to write as scripts and functions. It seems like scripts and functions are very similar to each other, but the question is why we have a different names. I'm showing a schematic diagram for scripts here. Whole small box represent collection of MATLAB Octave commands. Scripts do not need any input from user meaning that you already define your input variables within the scripts. However, in function, we require a certain input from user so that without having input from the user, you cannot run anything. So once you receive it, now you can start calculating something and then you can spit it out as an output. Function needs input and output as a part of uh, functions. So otherwise, it doesn't work. I'm going to show you the difference between these two throughout the example. In my first example, I'm going to show you how to write a script to calculate area of rectangle with x and y. As you know, the area of rectangle can be calculated by x multiplied by y. To write a script, you can use basic text editor like a notepad or some other text editor software. But MATLAB Octave also provides built-in script editor. Script editor can be found in one of the sub window, and then when you click the editor tab, you can see big blank box. So I prefer to uh, set up the window layout between the text editor and command window sitting right next to each other vertically. If you don't know how to do it, you may want to watch my other tutorial video. When you open a blank text editor, you can see blank white page. You can start writing a command. I'm going to define my width x equal to 3 and my height y equal to 5. You can define a variable a for area equal to width multiplied by height. So once you're done with the writing, you can hit save button here. Choose the folder that you want to save at and then choose M file name. For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use area of rectangle as an M file name and hit save. So as soon as you hit save, you can see the new M file name is popping up under the file browser, or you can also check it under file explorer, and then you can find a location that you save at, and then you can find the M file that you just created. So this is nothing more than a text file. You can also open it with the text editor, just like a notepad. In order to run the script that you just created, you can go to your command window and then type the M file name that you just chose, which is area rectangle. Then you can see the A equal to 15, which is MS3 multiplied by 15. There are a couple of things that I want you to highlight. So one thing is, you can also make a comment right next to each line for yourself. 
So sometimes you need to make a note for yourself so that so you can remind yourself what you have done it. To make a comment, what you can do, you can use a percentage sign. You can make any note. For example, in this case, my x is width of rectangle. As soon as you use a percentage sign, it becomes green. So meaning that Octane Math Lab ignore the text beyond my percentage sign. So you can also do the same thing for y. So y is height of rectangle. And my last line, you can also do a is area of rectangle. So they can hit save and then you can run it again. In order to run the same end file, typically I use upper key arrow so that this will pull up the comment history you just type in previously. So when you hit the enter, you can run M file easily. So under the comment history, you can see what command that you punch it in. So you can click it, the command that you want it to repeat, double click, then you can run it again if you prefer to do so. And then another important thing that I want you to highlight in the workspace, you can see all the variables that you've been using, x and y and a. Then you can monitor what's going on, including the value that has been assigned. Now, if you want to change the width to 2 and then height of 6, then you can save it and then you can rerun it and end up in having different area. However, if you want to extend this script as a function by having the input from the users, rather than using the predefined width and height, you need to write function by receiving input from users, which I'm going to show you right away. One of the problems with script is if you wanted to change your number in the variables, in this case width and height, you need to go back to script and change it and save it and run it again, which is painful. So I wanted to make x and y as a input variable from user so then you can call the function with the input from user. You can easily calculate the area of rectangle with the different variables for width and height. In this example, I'm going to show you how to write a function to calculate area of rectangle by receiving width and height as an input parameter. You may want to draw a block diagram to build a function by receiving x and y as an input and calculate area of rectangles. So x and y is going to be input variable, a becomes your output parameter. MATLAB Octave requires a certain syntax to write a function. Very first line, you need to start with a function followed by square bracket with the variable for output. So if you have multiple outputs, you can use output 1, output 2, output 3, and output n. In the meantime, you can use a comma as a variable separator. So if you have only one output, you can skip the square bracket. Then you can use an equal sign. You can use any function name. Then you can use a parenthesis, and then you can define your input parameter. So if you have multiple input parameter, you can use uh, input 1, input 2, input 3, uh, all the way down to input n. Then you can use a comma as a variable separator. At the very last line, you can use end to finish your line. But in the meantime, you can write any sequence of Octane method commands. But the important thing is that you need to build a relationship between output variable and input variable. You can nicely develop a function. I'm going to open the new script, then start with my function, followed by output parameter. In this case, I have only one output, which is area. So that I start with a, followed by equal sign. Then I can define my function name so that I use fn underscore area rectangle followed by parenthesis. So I have two input, which is x and y. So I use x comma y. For a comment, I can define my a is used for the area of rectangle. And my input parameter x is the width of rectangle. y is the height of rectangle. Now I can finish my uh, function with end, but in the meantime, I can define the relationship between my 
output variable A versus the input. So that area can be calculated by x multiplied by y. I don't want to automatically display my area as you run the function so that I can add the semicolon at the end. Now once you're done, you can hit save and then choose a folder that you want to save at. So in this case, I save under Mr. Stem Edu. Then I can use the same function name that I chose, which is fn underscore area react and hit save. So once you save, make sure that you create a new M file, which is function underscore area rectangle dot M. The way that you can call this function is you can go to command window and then you can define a output variable. So in this case, I'm going to use area followed by equal sign. And then you can use the same function name as you use, which is fn underscore area rectangle followed by input parameter for x. I'm going to use 3 and then 5 for y and then close your parentheses and hit the enter. So the way that it works, 3 and 5 is going to be transferred over to my input parameter x and y. So 3 and 5 is going to be assigned on x and y. Then x and y becomes a part of the calculation, which is 3 multiplied by 5, and assign the 15 as an outcome on a. Then a is going to be returned back to in the output variable, then return back to my command window. We, you can simply visualize my input is coming as an x or y, and then do calculation x multiplied by y, and then outcome has been returned as an output. Now I'm going to show you how to develop a function to calculate surface area of sphere and then volume of sphere. Again, I'm going to use a similar block diagram. So my radius of R is going to be input, and I have two output, which is surface area A and volume of B. In the meantime, you can develop a relationship between R and A and B, A versus R and B versus R, which is given in the mathematical formula here. So to develop the function, you can start with the blank page. Then I can start with my function. I define my output variables. I have two output variables. So now I can use two variable A and B, followed by equal sign. Then I can use fn underscore calculate area and volume as a function name, followed by parentheses. I have only one input parameter R. Then I can start making a comment. So my R is the radius of sphere and then my a is the surface area of sphere my b is the volume of sphere you can finish your statement with end in the meantime you need to define the relationship between a versus r so i need to put 4 multiply by pi r square i also need to calculate volume b equal 4 divided by 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubed. So once you've done that, you can hit save and then use the same function name that you've been using fn underscore cal area underscore volume and hit save. Okay, make sure that you create the new m file. So once you've done that, you can call this new function by having two output. So I have area and I have volume so that you can use a square bracket followed by a function name on cal area and volume followed by your radius. So let's say I have two. Then you can calculate your surface area and the volume for the radius of two. So if you want, you can change the number so they end up in having different outcomes. So let's say I have radius of three, you have different area and volume. What if you wanted to call the function from different function? You want to make a certain group of sequence as another function. You can call from another M file. For example, I'm going to replace my line number five, which is calculating surface area of sphere with another function. So I can create a separate function to calculate area 
of spear so that I can use phone area spear. Again, I my input is a radius. So my A is the surface area of spear. My R is the radius of spear. Then I can finish my structure with end. Then my A is gonna be four times pi times r square. So there you can hit save. Use the same function name as you've been using. Bung underscore area sphere and hit save. Again, make sure that you create the new M file. Then going back to your original M file, which is Fung cal area volume. Now I'm gonna replace my line number five with a function. So again, my area is the same as of before so that I can return my A to this output variable. Then you can call my function, which is fn underscore area sphere, which you developed here. Then you can use the same R, which is input parameter for this function, then hit save. Again, you can go to your uh, command window and then repeat command. You can see the same outcome as before. Idea here is that you want to call a function from another function. In summary, hope you understand better how to write scripts and function including the difference between them. Hope this tutorial video found useful and if you like, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to receive the similar video, please feel free to subscribe. I will see you next time.